Rangers <coughs> 2 FK Stupid <coughs> No. Um, it was average play by Rangers um, wasn't the kind of play I was expecting to be honest um, I was expecting much more pressing but I wasn't much for pressing game by the team I was much more possession based I wasn't much pressing um, also it was a cracking it was a fantastic welcome by uh, the Ibrox loyalty for Steven Gerrard, the gaffer, um, fifth, should have shy of 50,000 fans. Um, what a fantastic welcome by him. Are you happy he wore the suit? Are you happy? Because he's also wearing the suit for competitive games, so don't get your knickers in a twist. <coughs> Let's talk about the game. Um, first 15 20 minutes, um, Rangers were on the offensive. Kept pushing, kept attacking, and eventually Jamie Murphy scored the first goal, which I don't want to say it was lucky, but in a way it was because it, it was a left foot it hit underneath the keeper, but bounced behind, underneath him and in. So in a way it was a very lucky goal, yeah, but it's a goal nonetheless, take it. I think Murphy's going to be a, one of our vital players this season, especially down that left wing, um, pretty much as he was last seat, pretty much as he was second half of last season um, <coughs> what you call it then uh, eventually FK Scoopy sorry for that pause I was just thinking um, then eventually Scoopy started getting, getting into it getting into the groove um, there was a couple of moments in the in this half where uh, he had a shot graze over the graze off the bar, just graze over it. And also, there was a moment in the game where um, it was a set piece, <sighs> and nobody was marking the front post, so I basically left Scoopy to go for that unmarked area which I thought was pretty careless um, second half was it was all scoopy it really was um, even though we created ch even though we created chance after chance after chance scoopy just pit kept putting the pressure on us um, and we had a couple of penalty shots one from OV Ajaria which I thought was a penalty because I hit from hitting the hit the Hit his outside foot, hit, uh, it was a tackle on his left foot, so for me that was a penalty. Um, Alfredo Morelos, um, that wasn't a penalty shout, that was just an absolute dive. Absolutely, it was, it's just, it's just Morelos being Morelos. Embarrassing. Um, and obviously, that clear penalty, Owen Murphy, which was eventually given. Um, and Captain Tavernier, um, Getting the scoring it straight in the middle and basically giving Rangers a 2 0 win. Uh, talk about the players. McGregor, well, do, we'll, uh, we'll mention some of the players. Um, I say Murphy, he's been, he's been decent in this game. Um, the only the only downside to his 60 minutes is blown out his backside, so I'd like to see him. His fitness get up and maybe lasted maybe 75 minutes. Well, last maybe a bit longer than that, but can he follow his performance? He was really good. Um, um, John Flanagan, he'd done really well in that um, back line. In that back line. Um, it's pretty obvious that he's no the full back who crosses the ball, and he's obviously a full back that wants to cut in. He's no at Tavernier. Flanagan doesn't cross the ball. He cuts in. And I think that's what we're going to need to get used to. Uh, Connor Goldson. He was solid in that back line. He really was. Did not put a foot wrong. No mistake from him whatsoever. Very unlucky to get two goals. Katic. He done okay. He did look nervous. Um, but he's 21 year old. 
you learn as the game as the time Rangers goes along. Um, it was also very suspect that a few back passes to the goalkeeper. But again, as I said, he will he will get along. He'll move. He'll learn as he goes along. Um, Tavernier done okay. Don't give me that. Attacking fantastic, defending woeful. And I'm surprised at myself saying that because last last season defending he was he was pretty good, but but so far he's just not the best. It's early doors. We'll see what happens. Um, <coughs> again, I said McGregor wasn't maybe one save or two, but other than that he wasn't busy. Um, Arfield, I thought he done okay. Um, got to when he got the knock, but I don't. I just fingers crossed it's nothing serious. Um, when this. He wasn't really. The only two good things he done was running, th running was basically tracking back thirty yards twice. That was the only two good things he done. Uh, Candice, he was he was in and out, not much said there. And Morelos, uh, the only one thing he could, he could, the only one good thing he done was a nutmeg. That was it. Let's talk about Glenn Middleton. Um, the only reason I've never tweeted a lot about him is because I've never I never saw him play. After seeing him play against Buddy, and after seeing him play against, uh, after seeing him coming on yesterday, that kid's got a bright future. Um, I hope to God Stephen Gerrard plays him this season. I hope to God this season. I hope to God the manager plays Middleton uh, in the Premiership this season. He has got a lot to offer. He really does. I just hope to God he gets some game time. Um, let's get some player ratings, shall we? Uh, I get McGregor six. Didn't do much. Didn't need it. He wasn't really called upon. Didn't need to do much. Tavernier six. Okay, going forward. Very poor coming back. Catech uh, <laughs> six seven. Um, Good defensively, nervous passing, as I said, he's suspect of passing back, but he's young, he'll learn as he moves up, goes along in Rangers. Goldson, seven. Did not put a foot wrong. Um actually no, I'm not gonna I'm gonna give him an eight. Goldson, eight. Didn't put a foot wrong. Passing was perfect. Heading was perfect. Very and defending was perfect, very unlucky to get a few goals. Flanagan, 7. He done pretty good. As I said, passing's good. Always ran up when he had to. Um, a bit suspect because he cuts in instead of crosses. But that's his style of play. We're just going to have to get used to it. So, 7 for Flanagan. Um, midfield. Arfield, I'd say a 7. He done very well. Um, passing was brilliant. Always blew his, back, blew his backside out. Obviously, he worked really hard. Um, but unlucky, bit unlucky to get a goal, and hope and fingers crossed his uh, injury isn't as bad. Isn't he bad? Um, McCrory, uh, I'll give him a six. He done okay. A little bit clumsy on the ball, a bit. But he's about twenty year old again. He's still young. He, 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 he obviously learned from last season. I try to implement what he done then into this season going forward. Windass, 6, um, go into space, could have got a couple of goals but no consistent, quote, no clinical, um, as I said, only two good things he done was tracking back 30 yards twice, which one would, which one of them led to the Jimmy Murphy goal, that's the only two good things he really done, other than that, he ghosted, he was quiet, Candice, 7, Okay, but they didn't. The connection between Tav and Candice wasn't really much good here. Don't know why. Um, but passing was good, crossing was decent. Um, but pretty quiet. So I'll give him a seven. Um, Murphy, I'll give him an eight. Man of the match for me. Um, passing really good, cutting pretty well. Uh, always on, always breaking through that back line. Um, and obviously got the goal. Uh, 
Oh, and obviously Tavernier got the goal as well at the penalty, so hence why I gave him a seven. Um, actually, not, I'm not giving Tavis six. I'll give him a seven because of the goal. Um, obviously Murphy eight, man of the match, crossing well, passing well, um, building the back line, and obviously that link up play with Flanagan's okay. I think in, in time that will come good. And obviously Murphy got that goal in the first goal, so for me Murphy man of the match eight. Finally, Morelos, I'll give him a. I don't know what I'll give him. A, I'll give him a six because Billy's a back line, not clinical enough. Dives stupidly, which I'm embarrassed. I embarrassed me to watch that dive, and <clears throat> obviously he leaned his head into the goal into the goalkeeper. Which I'm thinking, Morelos, what are you doing? I don't know why we. I don't know how long we can go on with a hot head. I know it's just first game, but Morelos is concerning me. I know it's early. I know it's early doors. I know it's just the first game. I understand that, but I'm concerned about him. He's obviously picked up where he left off last season, and it is well. It's starting to worry me. Um. We need a we need a striker who is clinical. We really do, and I hope the guy Stephen Gerrard gets one for the season coming in. Uh, I'm not going to hang me the subs because I'm not going to rate the subs because of the time they were given, especially in Middleton. But Middleton was really good when he came in. Done more than Windus. Um, overall team rating, um, I'll give them a average six or seven. Seven. Aye. An average, an average seven. Uh, Steven Gerrard rating, I'll give him an eight. Um, obviously, um, his tactics worked okay. Obviously, he knows what he's talking about. Um, looking cracking in that suit, so he is. Um, <laughs> um, other than that, he kept on shouting, kept on saying Duke's Kept on barking orders. You can see what Steven Gerrard's trying to do to the players. Obviously, he's trying to get him to press, but the player, but this, the players weren't playing a pressing game. Whereas Steven Gerrard wanted that. This is what the players need to learn. Steven Gerrard wants the players to press hard. Near this half-hearted shit. Press hard. Sorry for swearing. And I hope to God the players get that in their heads soon. But other than that, two 0 I was expecting a lot more. I'll take the win and we go to Macedonia on Tuesday with a lot less pressure on our minds.